Good morning. This is Mike Mazzalongo with BibleTalk.tv. As many of you know, I come from Montreal, a city in the French part of Canada. Now, aside from the two-cheek kiss, Montreal is best known for its hockey madness. When the Canadians are in the playoffs for the Stanley Cup championship, there is a total media blitz about the team and its chances to score the biggest prize in hockey. In addition to the news coverage, there's also a sense of brotherhood that this sport has fostered among the people of the city. Haitian cab drivers and Polish firefighters, along with Russian engineers and political rivals, all sport the Canadian's flag on their cars. There's no need for compromise when it comes to winning the cup. Everybody cheers when the Habs win because there is nothing that brings all Montrealers together like cup fever. It's interesting to note that one other place I see this kind of coming together is in the local congregation of the church located in the south central part of the city called the Villamar Church of Christ. People from different cultures and languages enthusiastically praising and serving and sharing their Lord. No need for special committees or laws to maintain the peace and foster respect. Only one rule necessary. Do unto others as you would like them to do unto you. Luke chapter 6, verse 31. Of course, as exciting as the competition for the Stanley Cup might be, I'm confident that we have the better deal. You see, if the Canadians win, only the team will receive the reward and we will remain spectators. In the church, however, each one will receive the crown of eternal life, not just the star players. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory, Peter explains in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 4. Oh yes, and one other thing. If the Habs lose somewhere along the way, the excitement will be over. In the church, however, the victory that guarantees our crown has already been won by Jesus Christ. So, our unity and enthusiasm are based on what we already have, not what we might win. On that note, I hope that you have a great week filled with blessings from God. As we say in French, à bientôt. Discussion questions. Question number one. In your opinion, what one thing tends to cause division in families, at work, or in church? Question number two. What is the best way to foster unity among people? Why? Question number three. Explain how you would go about restoring a broken relationship. Why do you think this would work?